hello guys welcome back to our channel ever since um governor wrote to me ara Kron wrote to me at Kerry dolu senior advocate of nigeria has spoken concerning the issue of the full headsmen residing or uh, illegally occupying the uh, forest reserves should vacate by of course registering and all the four agenda he actually gave it has divided the nation in different lines the elites the politicians in ethnic lines in religious lines everybody seems to be saying and it looks like everybody's declaring their stand well as we speak it's now between the learned and the in they usually call them the learned colleagues and they have said to throw their weight on what the constitution says concerning the issue of uh, what Rotimi Akiri Dole, the governor of Ondo State, has said concerning the issue of vacating the land. But before we go into the news proper to find out what it is that is going on and who is supporting who, I'd like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Beside it, you'll see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on YouTube. Well, uh, the Senior advocate of Nigerians that stands on Wednesday threw their weight behind Governor Rotimi, behind Governor Rotimi Akeridolu of Ondo State, insisting the ultimatum he gave on registered headers to vacate forest reserves in the state was not unconstitutional. Well, in separate interviews, the senior lawyers maintained that the 1999 constitution, as amended, empowered the governor as chief security officer, the CSO of his state, to take any action that is geared towards the protection of lives and properties in the state. The presidency had, in, an, in, an, in a statement that was issued by special Senior Special Assistant to President Muhammad Buhari on media and publicity, Mr. Gaba Shewu tackled Governor Kerry Dolu containing that he lacked the powers to issue such ultimatum to headers in the state. Responding to the position of the presidency, a constitutional lawyer, Mr. Mohammed Albani, senior advocate of Nigeria, said, even though the constitution permits every Nigerian to move or reside in any part of the country, however, if a migrant becomes violent or engages in acts of terrorism, as some of the headmen or headmen, rather headsmen, have done, the governor, being the chief security officer of the state, has the power to ask them to leave. They can only stay so far as they are peaceful and comply with the laws of the state. The governor has every power to protect his people, both the indigenous and every other person that is resident in his state. The presidency should understand that Nigeria is a federation and there are powers given to the governor to protect the people and properties of the state from, ter from terrorists. The presidency should realize that the governor of Ondo state is a veteran not just a veteran, but a veteran lawyer. And before he issued that statement, he was well aware of the constitutional angles. So far as I am concerned, he has the power to issue the directive and the power was properly exercised. The governor does not owe terrorists the duty of care under our laws. These people are armed and are constantly terrorizing indigenous of the state. Most of them are not even Nigerians. Even if they are Nigerians, whereas the federal government prohibited citizens from carrying arms in self-defense. Headers carry arms about. Even armor tackle, that is a security outfit, were not encouraged to carry arms, yet headers carry arms about. Nobody would tolerate that and no law would protect such people. All state governors have the power to expel armed healthmen from their state because they commit ter terrorist acts. Every resident of any state must subject to the law of the state. What the Ondo state government has done is brave and courageous. I want all southern, all other southern governors to emulate him by asking violent terrorist groups to exit their state. Likewise, another senior advocate of Nigeria, Mr. Paul Ananaba, said, There is freedom of movement in Nigeria, but that freedom is not absolute. The Constitution provides for derogation of constitutional rights for the public good. I do not see what is wrong with the governor taking steps to protect citizens in his state. He did not say so. He did not say so outside Ondo. Federal government indeed ought to have supported the governor rather than antagonize him. 
This is because the duty of government is to protect lives and properties. The governor is working within the constitutional provision that you can derogate people's freedom in the public interest. Section 45 of the 1999 constitution empowers the governor to restrict the right of movement and association to the extent of protecting the right and freedom of other persons nobody is in nobody is in doubt that those headsmen are killing kidnapping and attacking people in the forest i do not see why the state government should not take steps ideally the federal government should have sent security agents to flush out those people he added on his part mr dayo Akilaja, senior advocate of Nigeria, said the governor is the chief security officer of the state and he has the responsibility and binding duty to ensure that the state is secured. If he found it expedient that violent headers should leave the state, no law prohibits him from taking that action. To my understanding, the idea of asking them to come out of the forest is to ensure that the innocent ones that are doing legitimate businesses are separated from the violent ones that take cover in the forest. I do not see anything wrong or anything the governor has done that is beyond his powers. The whole idea is to ensure that the forests are kept safe. If the presidency is doing what is expected of it, I do not see why there will be any need to flush the forest. We are talking about security and it should be the business of every government. If the presidency made everyone secured, the directive from the governor would not have been issued. There's nothing untoward or illegal in what Undo governor has done. He is not asking them to vacate the whole state, but to come out of the forest. The whole idea is to smoke out those that are perpetrating evil from the forest. I see nothing wrong or unconstitutional about governor's directive. Akin Laja, senior advocate of Nigeria, argued. Wow. Now, this is good because this is coming from the elite. <laughs> this is coming from the learned colleagues they will always tell you my learned colleague i'm talking about the lawyers and the uh, barristers in the house all right you have heard what they are saying they're saying that uh, while the president whereas the presidency uh, via his senior advocate via his senior special media assistant uh, she Gaba is saying that it's unconstitutional Obviously, you probably must have forgotten very quickly that, uh, although he said it in his statement, that that's a senior advocate of Nigeria. That means he has uh, a fair knowledge, good knowledge of what constitution and the laws of the land are saying. So if he says he wants them out of the forest, he must have looked at the pros and the cons of the constitution. He must have considered where his, his right stops, what limits him as the governor, and what empowers him. And as the chief security officer of the state, he has the powers. I, we keep saying this over and over again. Uh, I'm sure, like uh, the senior advocate of Nigeria has said, one of the sons said, said, look, Nigeria is a federation, okay? <laughs> it's a federation. So they had some powers that have been delegated to some persons, especially the, uh, the governors, and they, are, they have the right to exercise it. Uh, like he said something that caught my attention. He said, Nigerians don't have the right to carry arms. It's actually prohibited by our law. But Fulani has men, they carry arms with impunity. They carry it with pride. And no one has ever stopped them to say, come on, stop carrying arms. It's as if it's almost a right. And it's as if the constitution does not abide, does not bind into them. So, hey, if they're carrying guns and they have been terrorizing the people by all means. But that, he's not saying that all Fulani has men are terrorists. He's only saying, if you know you're innocent and you do your register and leave the forest so that can... It, to the better good of all, we secure on those states. Well, if you ask me, I should think that southern governors should, all the governors, not just southern governors, they should start emulating the same food that can, you know, checkmate the issue of insecurity in our country, particularly in our forest. Well, that's where we're going to wrap it up. What's the take on what um, the senior advocates of Nigerians are saying concerning Akaraduru and the seven days of